Hey guys, my name is Chris Costello. I'm with Formula Disc Brakes, and we're here at Interbike 2009. I'm going to give you a rundown of some of our products and a few new things that we're showing at the show here. Uh, first off, we're going to start with some of the XC brakes. We have a new brake this year. It's called the RX. It's a completely new platform for us. It's, it's actually an entry-level XC brake, but it's really, really feature-rich. So we have a really lightweight product. It's got a lot of power, and uh, it's the lightest in its class. And we also have a pretty intriguing new price point on it. So this is a brake. It uses a radial master cylinder over here. Uh, all of our brakes have gone to a radial master cylinder. It's a much lighter, much stiffer design and a, a one-piece caliper. So it's actually, uh, to use a one-piece caliper on a brake at this price point, this entry-level price point of 189 a wheel uh, is, is really, really impressive. Uh, this brake comes stock with organic pads and comes in at right around 351 grams. So like I was saying, really lightweight, lots of power. The other nice thing about this brake is that it uses the same pad shape as our one and our R1 brakes. So all of the formula brakes this year use the same pad shape. We still have three different choices. You have your sintered metallic, your organic, or your organic with aluminum backing plate. Um, we're really excited about this brake this year. The performance is really incredible. Uh, more power than our old Oro line and uh, 50 grams lighter weight per wheel. So this is gonna be a great brake for us this year. Next, we're gonna move over to our R1. This was a new brake for us in 2009, and it's actually gonna stay the same this year. It's the lightest disc brake ever produced. We're using a forged master cylinder body and also a forged one-piece caliper. So this brake actually uses aluminum back pads to keep the weight down, and also really nice high-end aluminum fasteners, and also a forged aluminum lever blade. Some of our racers at the World Champs this year, most notably uh, Nathan Rennie, was actually riding this brake on his DH bike, so that gives you an idea about the capabilities of this thing. It's uh, really nice and lightweight, but the power that it packs is pretty incredible. Uh, you can toss a 180 rotor on there and use it for, for an enduro or an all-mountain application, and you're good to go. Uh, again, this thing comes in at 279 grams, lightest brake that you can buy. So our flagship gravity brake the last two years has been the one. This year it gets a little bit of a makeover. If you look here, we have a new master cylinder design for this brake pretty similar to our R1 master cylinder, but it actually is slightly beefed up and we increased the reservoir capacity to deal better with the larger 24 millimeter diameter caliper pistons. So this brake this year dropped over 25% off the weight of the last year's one. 308 grams for a post mount front with a 160 rotor, so that's an incredible lightweight for a DH brake. The other nice thing is this master cylinder is also forged as is the lever blade. So what that means is that it's a really, really durable master cylinder as well. This brake, uh, when we first started doing our impact tests in our factory in Italy on this master cylinder, it was surpassing all the impact tests that we did on our old master cylinder. So even though it looks really small and svelte, it's actually really, really strong and burly. Again, we're using aluminum, uh, aluminum fasteners for the handlebar clamp. And, uh, and also for the, for the lever blade. For the caliper on this brake, it actually stays the same as it has for the last two years. It's a forged one-piece unit. It uses really large 24 millimeter diameter caliper pistons and sintered metallic pads. The sintered pads will actually fade about 10 to 15% later than organic pads. They do a lot better in the wet weather and also last quite a bit longer. But the real trick with the sintered pads is that they fade later which essentially means that you're gonna be getting more power when you need it the most under extreme conditions. So this is the 2010 Mega. It's actually a, it, it's an updated version of our 2009 brake. We again, like I said, we moved over to the radial master cylinder on this. It uses a master cylinder that's pretty similar to our, our RX master cylinder, 363 grams. Still getting the 24 millimeter diameter caliper pistons here. Um, so it's really a strong, capable brake, but at the same time, it, it, it's a much better, it hits a much better entry-level price point. So uh, 
same rotor design as, as all the rest of our brakes, 263 grams. Uh, this brake actually also will come with, uh, with the sintered metallic pads. Now finally, I'm going to show you a gravity brake that falls in between our high end and our low end offering. This is called the 1FR. It uses a caliper from the one brake, so it's a forged one piece caliper, 24 millimeter diameter caliper pistons, really strong and really capable. The difference with this brake is that we're using the master cylinder uh, that's similar to the RX and to the Mega. So, you know, if you're looking for uh, if you're looking for a brake that's a little bit less expensive, that is uh, also you're not quite as concerned about the weight, but you still want to get all that power. This is the one FR. Now I'm going to take you over and show you some of our parts and accessories. First off, uh, we offer our two-piece rotors. They come in a 160 and 180 size, and basically it's an aluminum carrier that's made it to a steel braking track. Drops a little bit of weight, looks really trick. Next up, we also offer a carbon fiber lever blade for, for the R1 brake. Drops about seven grams, but gets a little bit of carbon on your brake, tunes it up, makes your friends jealous. Another cool thing we're offering this year is a dealer service kit for all our dealers out there. Uh, we offer this kit in both uh, both for the old Oro brakes and also for the new DH and Gravity brakes and for the RX brakes. So uh, make sure your dealers are all stocked up with small parts. Finally, the shop syringe, that's that gold guy back there. Um, it's basically a syringe that's been made into an alloy carrier. It makes bleeding quite a bit easier and is one of those really nice tools that you like to have and show off to all your friends. I think that covers all of it. Again, Chris Costello here with Formula Disc Brakes at Interbike 2009. Thanks for listening.